In today's video, I'm going to show you how to screen record an iPhone in 2024. Let's jump in. So here we are on the iPhone home screen and the first thing we'll want to do is head into settings. Once we're in settings, we can head into the control center area just here. This is where we can choose what applications and tools we want to see within our own control center. If we scroll down, we'll see the screen recording option here. We'll want to tap the green plus button next to screen recording and this will now be added into our control center. We can also adjust the order of tools in our control center just by holding the three lines to the right here and moving the tool into the desired position. Now that the screen recording tool is in our control center, center, we can head back to the home screen by swiping up from the bottom. To access the control center, hold your finger on the battery icon in the top right corner of your phone and pull your finger downwards to show the control center. Here at the bottom are all of the tools I've already added to my own control center in the settings. The screen recording tool is represented by this image of a circle with another circle inside of it. If we tap this button, we'll see a short countdown before the button turns white and the circles will turn red. This is telling us that our iPhone screen is now being recorded. If we press and hold down the recording button again, we'll also get an option here to turn our iPhone microphone on just by tapping. It. This is useful if you want to do a live voiceover during your screen recording, which could save a lot of editing time later on. If we return to the home screen again by swiping up from the bottom, we'll see that the time at the top left has a red oval-like shape around it. This is also telling us that our screen recording is still going. We'll be able to jump into any app whilst the screen records, useful for showcasing digital products or creating tutorials. Once you've captured everything you need on your screen recording, we can simply tap the clock at the top with the red oval, where we'll then get a message to stop the recording. Next, we can simply press stop to finalise the recording. We'll now see that our clock has gone back to normal and our screen recording will automatically save into our photos. If we head into the Photos app, we can see that our most recent media is the screen recording we've just captured. You'll then be able to either share this or use the file to edit with in your own content. And there we have it, that's about everything you need to know when screen recording on an iPhone. If you're looking for animations to jazz up your screen recordings, then you should definitely check out Videos. Videos is the online video creator that allows anyone to create custom professional animations using our wide library of templates and tools. You can try videos completely free by following the link either in the description box or pinned comment below. Hit that like button and as always, happy creating!